Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here sharing with you my kit that I purchased from the Wild Hair Kit Club. I had purchased one before and last time I got a petite kit, this time I went ahead and got a deluxe kit because I did enjoy working with my first kit. So I would, I'm going to go ahead and share what I got with you and also a couple of things that I pulled to go along with the kit from my own stash. So I'll start with the paper. And first thing is I got a bunch of six by six papers from the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection. I think it's called Stargazer. Yeah. So there are 10 of them. So there's this circle floral one, this multicolor floral, this one with all the clocks on it, this red with yellow diamonds, this two-tone green foliage one, this pots of plants in multicolors, then we have this red banners, and the red has slightly lighter polka dots like scattered over it. We have another floral, then we have this ombre brush script in a green, and last we have this green bandana print all of which are really good for layering, which is awesome. And now I've got my 12 by 12 pieces of paper. We're starting off with this Amy Tangerine foil page, and this is from her Hustle and Heart collection. And it's really cool because you can, obviously it's in kind of cut aparts, but you could use it in any configuration, like you could trim off this 12 by 12 piece and use it, or you could trim it off here and use it as a big section. You could trim these so that each little design area is completely separate or use them as like say a block for like, so like an eight and a half by 11 piece and it would totally work as part of a grid design. So I think that's really usable. I'm super happy I got that. Next, now these are a mix of older and brand new stuff, which I actually kind of like because you know there are things you miss out on you can't buy everything and then to have a kit put together for you that's coordinated it don't it's I don't wow words are hard I actually don't mind and actually I have purchased this paper back uh now I don't know if it was when it was brand new or after it was new and I worked with it and I loved it and I'm super happy you know a diagonal stripe I'm a happy girl so as I mentioned, this is from Creative Agenda by Echo Park Paper. It is a navy and white diagonal stripe on one side, and then the B side is this gray with white cameras. It is called Blue Stripe. Very cute. And then next, <laughs> I've got the B side up here, sorry. Next we have Make-A-Wish, and it is a multicolor polka dot on a mint background and they're very uh, splotchy, so they're not like set polka dots. They're kind of like, you know, like like you, you spattered. So then the B side is this very cute navy and purple doodles of scallops and loop-de-loos. Also from Stargazer, we have Little Things. And on this front side, it has kind of like an ombre color wash of just a little design. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the word would be for this. The B side is this really strong, it's green, but almost tipping over into a dark teal, but it is definitely green, but it's just a really, really strong green in a, a wonky stripe. Very pretty. Next we have from Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, Turn the Page. We have paper number 20. Excuse me, I gotta drink some tea. And this page has um, like almost like starburst quilt patterns in little squares. And then the B side are these cubes and they're in multicolor on a cream background. That's really cool. Next, from Pink Fresh Studio, and I once again have the B side up, 
we have from Escape the Ordinary, a paper called Chase. And I actually have this paper because it's one of the few papers I bought from this line. I'm totally okay having two of them. I think this piece is beautiful. <clears throat> this is totally just use this as a background and be perfectly happy type page. So I'm good to go. Um, oh, I just, I love these. I think those are just like a ridiculously awesome design. The B side are these little green dashes on white. And then next also from Echo Park, this one from Capture Life. This is a chevron wood grain in black, which is super fun. Now I had Capture Life, but not the black and white version. I had the color version and only in the six by six paper pad. So even though, ooh, I got a little dust on it. Even though this is a little bit older paper, once again, it's not paper I've worked with, so I'm super happy. The B side has these little sketch triangles built into cubes built into stripes so it's a really cool pattern paper this is called wooden chevron so obviously this is the a side and then finally my last paper is also from stargazer and it is called blissful this i believe is the b side it has hexagons in pinks yellows reds and whites on a pink paper with shooting stars and it's really cute and super awesome but it will probably never see the light of day because I adore this side. <laughs> this is a wood grain with little white hearts all over it. It is precious and awesome and uh, I want to use it like 17 times but I won't because you know I always say that I'm like I want 25 pieces of this paper but the truth is I worked with one line of paper for an entire album my Disney album and by the end I wanted to burn it so I'm happy with just one maybe two but one is good excuse me I'm getting over a cold so I need to hydrate as much as I can I know drinking water would probably be a lot better than drinking tea but that's the way it's rolling right now all right, now I'm going to move on to my embellishments. I will say that I specifically asked her not to give me any alphas. Um, I have so many and I really want to work my way through it. Plus, I am trying to use my Ellie Studio title builder set as, in conjunction with my thickers and alpha stickers because, as I've mentioned before, I paid for the darn thing. I really need to use it. So, we will start off with these frames from Studio Calico. They're super cute. There are 15 of them. Now I've seen these before. They're not brand new, but they are so cute and they match so well with all of the colors in this line. It's like absolutely perfect. I'm just going to pull out if I can get one that's multicolored. I mean, how cute is that? with the matching it's like absolutely perfect and it's so funny because it's like I would now obviously I could do this myself go through all of my stash and all of that and I do but sometimes it's nice to just have it done for you you know it's like um camping versus going to a hotel there's nothing wrong well for me I don't camp but <laughs> for people who do camp and like to camp there's nothing you know they enjoy camping and camping is fun but it doesn't necessarily mean they don't enjoy going to a spa <laughs> and having everything done for them. It's just a different type of, you know, experience. Same thing with having a stash kit curated for you or working from your own stash. You know, it's just one of those things. So these are really cute. I think these would be super awesome to use to make a grid design like where you back some with pattern paper and then some have photos and then some have groupings of embellishments and I like like I saw this in the kit and that like that's immediately what came to mind I don't know if that's what's actually going to happen but it's an idea and then from color cast designs I got these open and closed stars and I believe it's written on my sheet what color those are mango what's hilarious is I literally just put in an order from color cast designs and I almost bought these I didn't so yay but I actually almost bought these so good job Allison 
Then we also have these flag clips from Studio Calico. And I actually had these when, I don't know if, when they first came out, but I bought them at some point and I actually used them all. So super cute to have them again. And I know some people have them with this part poking out and some people do it with just the rounded part. I'm more of a rounded part kind of girl. So we'll see what happens. And then from Project Life, Every day I got these, it's a three pages of chipboard stickers. They are very cute. I love this tag one and this hello and the love and the moments. And at this point I'm hitting like every single one. So it's like, I love that and I love that and I love that. And I think it's going to be great for just everyday embellishments, you know, where, and that's how I prefer to work. I much prefer embellishments to be non-themed. I'm okay with a little bit of themed paper and then using everyday embellishments to help along that way rather than have everything be completely themed. So, and that's just a personal choice. And finally, I got these cork shapes from Hazelwood One Canoe Two. They're very cute. My my anathema is going to be these numbers because I almost never use numbers. But I love the hello and I love the flower, and I'm really looking forward to working with those. Now, as I mentioned, I pulled some things to go from my stash. I did not pull any alphas because all of my alphas sit right here on my table. So it's very easy for me to just pull them in as I need them. I did, however, pull in. <clears throat> I actually received a partial pack of these uh, when I was a member of the Scrap Room Kit and I have a couple of them left over. It's just a cloud, a hexagon, and the numbers seven and eight. So, and that's, I'm pretty sure the only other things I got were two corners and an arrow. So, cause you got like a third of a pack. And I think having multiples of the hexagons and multiples of the clouds, I'll be much more likely to use them than I was just getting one of each. Then I pulled some enamel shapes. These enamel dots that are just, I, I got them from Peachy Cheap. And then these from Freckled Fawn, which have more of the green in them. Now, I don't necessarily know if I'll use the orange, but the green and the aqua will definitely be useful. I did pull in one alpha, and it's from Freckled Fawn, and they're just little white foam words. And I actually had these separated because I had pulled some things to go to... Um, I was, having a, I was going to have a little bit of an extra time at a hotel room, so I brought some stuff with me. So I just had those. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and add it to this kit. I also have these glossy puffy stickers from the Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart collection. I did not buy a lot of this collection. I bought these hearts, and then I bought two pieces of paper, which I'm not going to add to this kit. First of all, I think this kit has plenty of paper. Second of all, I have a specific reason for the two pieces of paper I purchased from that line, so I didn't want to pull those in. I also purchased quite a bit of embellishments from the Escape the Ordinary line by Pink Fresh Studio. So what I did is I went through the Ephemera pack and then they had these um, things called stitched hearts. get one here they are what they are is they are shockingly enough stitched hearts and they are cardstock with then a layer of vellum over them with different patterns and stuff and then they also had stitched tags so what I did was I pulled pieces from each of those packages that I thought might work with this particular kit so those are partial packs of all of those I then pulled these black, black eyed pea colored epoxy hearts from Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith line. And then I did pull out from my, I'm almost to the end of, I'm 
of the Amy Tangerine on a whim line. I have enough just to do one more layout. So I went ahead and grabbed these thickers. I know I have them in here. I'm going to be working with both this kit and finishing off my other layout within say the next couple of weeks. So I will be aware that where these are. So I'm not concerned about not having them. And then I, Honestly, do not remember where I got these. Probably, I would assume, Paper Issues. It's called The Lucky Ones. I'm pretty sure it's from an Amy Tangerine line, although I'm not sure which one. They are gold word thickers on one side and white foam thickers on the other side. I don't know if these are from Hustle and Heart or if they're from On a Whim. I just bought them and I actually... Put them in the wrong place and then when I was looking for something I found them and I was like oh yeah that is something I want to work with last couple of things I bought these mini placemats from Julie Bean soup when I went to a Tuesday morning and I just thought they would be super cute I have an idea looking at these using these as a uh, Yeah, there's an idea percolating there. I have an idea. I also pulled uh, some more of those epoxy hearts, this time in the Oh My Heavens mix. And the last thing I'm adding are these epoxy, or I'm sorry, not epoxy, enamel crosses. To me, they look like plus signs more than crosses from the Creekside collection of One Canoe too. All right, folks, that is my wild hair kit plus the additions I made. Uh, from my own stash. So thank you guys for joining me here. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. If you have any questions about this, just leave a comment below. I usually am able to get back to you within a couple of weeks. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Thanks so much and bye.